The German magazine Focus reported Sunday that Cornelius Gurlitt, the owner of the Munich apartment, inherited the missing art from his father. Hildebrand Gurlitt was a museum director hired by the Nazis to sell the works abroad, but he kept some of them for himself. A German government spokesman told reporters Monday that Bavarian state prosecutors are getting federal government support by supplying experts on Nazi looted art. He did not confirm or deny the magazine report. We have been aware of the case for a couple of months, and that's why we are releasing the information that we're trying to provide help by arranging experts. Experts say that 20,000 works of modern art were confiscated from Jewish dealers in Nazi Germany. Many remain missing. When they are discovered, they are claimed by the descendants of their former owners. Rüdiger Malo is a representative of the Conference on Jewish Material Claims in Germany. The Gorlitt case shows the extent of organized art theft in museum and private collections under the Nazis, when the works had all been the private property of Jewish owners. It also shows the lack of transparency in the art trade, because there was no research into provenance of the works that Gorlitt sold. And also, this discovery happened in 2011 and is only being publicized now. Focus magazine reported that the discovery came after a routine customs cash check on a train between Switzerland and Munich in 2010. Customs officials found the 80-year-old Gurlitt carrying an equivalent of about $12,000 in euros apparently obtained from an art sale in a Swiss gallery. The art found in Gurlitt's apartment is estimated to be worth more than $1 billion. Mahler said every piece must be investigated for provenance and recorded in the Lost Art Database in Magdeburg. Zlatica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.